Hey, everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Megan Nunez of FanDuel, who's here to give us her MLB best bets of the day. What's going on, Megan? Not a whole lot. Just, you know, prepping for a hurricane, and um, it's my boy's seventh birthday today, so, you know, obviously he won't be watching this, but lots of mom duties today. Lots of mom duties. Happy birthday to your son. Let's begin with the Chicago White Sox here, who you like on the run line here. That run line is minus one and a half. You get that at minus 110. You like the White Sox today on the run line. We're going, we're going uh, minus one and a half, like we said. What's about the White Sox? Lucas Doolittle pitched a no-hitter last night. What are we thinking about today? All right, so again, as you said, what a performance by Giolito last night. I literally looked at my husband, his second pitch, and I said, Giolito is on tonight. Watch it. I wish I would have tweeted it because I would have looked like a genius. Um, so I think the White Sox are playing better than anyone in the MLB right now, especially the offense. They have just been a juggernaut. Though last night wasn't their best batting performance. Um, Trevor Williams for Pittsburgh is a solid pitcher, but I feel like this lineup is going to get to him at some point today. Um, and while I do not think Heichel throws a no-no like Giolito last night, I mean, anything's possible, but uh, let's face the facts. Probably not going to happen. Um, I do think that he holds those Pirates' bats. Um, and not to mention the White Sox owe it to Giolito after a nearly perfectly pitched game to get those bats hot tonight for him. And the White Sox bullpen is completely rested, pretty much took a whole night off last night while Giolito pitched that no-hitter. So I really like the White Sox to keep rolling today. Run line it is. White Sox on the money line is minus 205, just to show you how big of a favorite they are in this game against the Pirates. Megan likes them on the run line, minus one and a half, and you get that at minus 110. Dallas Keuchel on the mound for Chicago. He may not be Lucas Giolito, but he's going to give you enough, or at least the White Sox bats will give you enough for the White Sox to win by two. Let's go to the other side of Chicago, where you like the Chicago Cubs on the money line. They're actually in Detroit. It's John Lester on the mound against Michael Fulmer. Cubbies are minus 130 on the money line. You're betting all over Chicago today. Why do you like the Cubs? All right. So to me, this is a team last night in the Cubs that is so much better than the Tiger team, but they lost. I just don't see it ha happening consecutively. Um, I normally don't like to lay this much juice, but again, I, I like the Cubs in this spot. You have Lester on the mound, and while he did get knocked about, around by the White Sox, that hasn't been an uncommon thing this year, and I think this is his get-back, get-right spot. Um, let's, and not to mention, Lester has pitched way better away from Wrigley than he has actually at Wrigley this year. On the flip, you have Fulmer, who's just been pretty inconsistent, so I think the Cubs' bats really get to him tonight, and I don't think that the bullpen or Fulmer is going to be able to take charge of anything today. The Cubs lost last night to Detroit, and they're just simply a much better team. There's no way they lose two in a row, according to Megan, which makes this bet kind of simple. It's a lot of juice, but it's worth it when on one that you're at least convinced that you can count on. The Cubbies and the White Sox, both winners today, according to Megan. One last game to get to, and that's the San Diego Padres taking on the Seattle Mariners. It's the Nelson Lamette taking on Taiwan Walker. Maybe Walker's last start for the Seattle Mariners. He is on the trade block while the Padres, well, they're the team everybody loves to bet on, right? They're the most fun team they have, Fernando Tatis, and Lamette has pitched as well as any pitcher in baseball for a lot of this season. You like the Padres on the run line here tonight. You get that at minus 116 right now over at the FanDuel Sportsbook. Other than Lamette being just a heck of a lot better than Taiwan Walker, why else do you like the Padres tonight? All right, so I'm not going to lie, I was shocked and hurt um, that the Mariners jumped out in front and just continued to do so on Paddock last night. Was not expecting that. The Padres, in my opinion, are just a better team. While the Mariners are on a little bit of a hot streak, I think winning four in a row, I think it stops tonight. Um, the Padres just looked flat. And again, we said we have Lamette pitching tonight, who is arguably the Padres' ace. Um, I just think that the that this Padres lineup is just going to be way too much for Walker to handle. I think they get back into the groove of things tonight. And this is just another, it's a better team than the Mariners. They should win, just like the Cubs should win against the Tigers. Um, these bets are a little chalky today, but th if it's supposed to happen, 
it's supposed to happen. Am I right? The Padres should get back on the winning side of things. At least we expect them to. Minus 116, as we said, on the run line here. Minus one and a half is that run line tonight. The Padres, a better team than the Mariners. Although Tom Walker's pitched well, there's no Denelson on the mat. We like the Padres in this one. There you have it. Those are the winning bets. That is how Megan is buying a birthday present for her seven-year-old son today. Oh, God. I hope so. No. <laughs> uh, it should be a it should be a fun day all around for you as long as you stay dry and safe. Megan, we appreciate the time. Good luck tonight. Thank you so much, and thanks for having me. Absolutely. Tomorrow on the program, we'll be joined by Tom Vecchio as we take a look more around the NFL. Have a great night, everybody. Enjoy the games. From Megan Nunez, I am Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time right here on the FanDuel Hurry Up.